perfect mashed potatoes. Let's get into it. I'm using five pounds of russet potatoes. Add them to my pot of boiling water. I cover these and let them cook till they're fork tender, probably about 30 minutes. You need a small saucepan. I'm gonna add three cloves of crushed garlic, one shallot, halved. Throw that in, like a little bundle of thyme. I do a combination of heavy cream and whole milk. I just go until it covers the ingredients. And a little salt, pepper. Set it on the stove to simmer, let all those flavors infuse. For the cheeses, I'm going mild white cheddar, sharp yellow cheddar, a little bit of Parmesan because I really like the bite. Beautiful three cheese medley. Quick check in on the potatoes. That's ready. If you don't have a potato ricer, you can always push your potatoes through a wire cooling rack. But I just got mine on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. In between the layers of the potatoes, I'm just going to add a little pat of butter. No feeling quite like tucking a slab of Kerrygold butter to a fluffy mound of potatoes. Beautiful. I didn't have a big enough boat, so I had to disperse, but hopefully you have a large enough vessel to hold. I'm gonna pour that cream mixture right over the top. You can strain this. I like the little pieces of thyme in there. This was probably a total of two cups liquid, one cup heavy cream and one cup whole milk. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of borzon cheese. Healthy scoop for this side, a healthy scoop for that one. I'm gonna sprinkle in our cheeses. Give them a little taste for flavor. Oh my God. Yeah, we're onto something. Add my mashed potatoes to a baking pan. As I layer the potatoes, I'm just gonna add little chunks of butter throughout to keep the potatoes nice and moist and decadent. I top it with our shredded cheeses. This is gonna go in the oven at like 350, just till the cheese bubbles on top. That big tray of mashed potatoes is for my girlfriend's friends giving tonight, so I cannot bake it right now, but I'm gonna do a little tester bowl right here. Don't worry, this one gets butter cubes too. I'm gonna bake this until the cheese is bubbling. Beautiful. I'm gonna finish with a little bit of fresh chive. Moment of truth. So good when you get a little bite of that cheesy crust. 